And what about the school lunch guidelines? Do you think those need to be changed too? Well, you know, they get it um, wrong in two ways. <laughs> First of all, as you said, that they have this obligatory um, drop of the milk carton on the plate for the meal to be reimbursed. And um, it also has to be reduced fat. So whereas it's perfectly acceptable to serve sugary, fat-free milk, you can't serve, you're prohibited from serving unsweetened plain whole milk. Now, what's the sense of that? Well, I guess if you're thinking in a simplistic way of calories in, calories out, you're giving kids fewer calories, fewer fat calories, and maybe that's a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, the clinical trials that we have and the epidemiology that we have suggest the opposite, mm. that the kids who um, are drinking whole milk tend to be tend to gain less weight uh, than the kids who are drinking non-fat milk. And that's even after taking into account something, a concept called reverse causality. Like you might think that people are drinking non-fat milk because they're gaining too much weight. Maybe these are the heavier kids and they switch to non-fat mm -hmm. milk. But there's ways of taking that into account in research. And even with that, um, whole milk, if anything, looks better than fat-free milk. 